Hi, I'm uh, Arnaud Fisala uh, from uh, INSEE in France. And uh, welcome to this presentation about uh, windsorization and weight share method. Uh, so, uh, my presentation will be uh, with this contents. Uh, I will speak uh, a bit about uh, the context of the study. After that, I will present the, the method to conciliate uh, wind solarization and the wage uh, method that I try. And uh, finally, I will present the results of a simulation study of a comparison of the different methods. So the, the context of uh, this study is um, the French SBS survey, uh, known as uh, HESAN. In, in fact, uh, it is a production uh, system of uh, structural business statistics, and it is based on a mix of exhaustive administrative fiscal data and data obtained on a random sample of the business uh, population. So the reason uh, we have to use um, weight share method is uh, because uh, ESAN has changed uh, recently to produce estimates based on uh, enterprises and no longer on legal units. So uh, several methodological studies have been conducted to support this change. Uh, and uh, the one I am presenting now is about as uh, adaptation of the wind solarization method. So it, it's a method to, to treat the influential uh, values. And uh, we have to adapt this method for the dissemination of uh, results at uh, the enterprise level. Um, so there is a new sampling design. Um, to produce some statistics at the enterprise level. And so starting at reference year 2016, uh, the sampling design of the uh, French SBS survey select enterprises. And when an enterprise is selected, then all legal units within uh, this enterprise will be surveyed. And so the enterprise's answer will be built based on the legal unit answers. Uh, and we have to use uh, the weight share method because uh, of the delineation of the enterprises. So basically an enterprise is um, a set of legal units. <clears throat> and uh, at the moment of the drone of the sample, uh, so it's in November T for the reference here T, uh, we have only have the links between legal units and, top and enterprises uh, referring to the year T minus two. Um, so a few months later, uh, we have new links uh, referring to year T minus one. And uh, we want to use uh, those links. Uh, and to do that, uh, we, we need uh, to, to use the weight share method. As, uh, Basically, the weight share method has this uh, assumption. Uh, an enterprise is in the update sample if at least one legal unit belonging to the enterprise is in the initial sample. And uh, the weight of the enterprise will be a combination of uh, the weights of the legal units belonging to it. And for ESAN, uh, we use um, uh, some weights to the links. And basically the final weights will be a uh, uh, weighted sum of the initial weights of legal units with uh, so the, the weight of each links is uh, this letter theta on uh, the slide you can see. And, and so we, we use theta uh, which represents the importance so of, the, of each legal unit. So finally, the, the final weight of um, the enterprise will be close to uh, the initial weight of the bigger uh, legal units belonging to it. That's the spirit of the, uh, of, uh, the method uh, using in uh, ESAN.
Okay, so this is uh, this is the presentation about weight share method, and now uh, I'm going to speak a bit about the inferential value adjustment by Winsorization. So uh, uh, basically, uh, it works with this formula. So there are some uh, threshold. Uh, so it's the letter K uh, on the slide, and if um, an enterprise has uh, a contribution to uh, the estimators which is under the threshold, then we don't touch to the initial value uh, of the enterprise. So that, that is the majority of the, the, the enterprise are concerned by, by uh, this line. And uh, if uh, the contribution of the uh, enterprise is above the threshold, then we reduce the value uh, with this formula. So in ESAN, uh, we use the wind solution on the variable fiscal turnover. So it's available uh, to uh, each uh, legal unit in the sampling frame. And uh, so we, we do that for uh, the fiscal turnover. And then uh, we modify the weight uh, with this formula here. So Basically, if we reduce uh, by half uh, the initial value uh, the, the, in the final file, we will not touch uh, to uh, the initial value, but we will um, modify, we will reduce by half uh, the weight of the enterprise. Uh, of course, the efficiency of the method depends on the threshold K, and uh, to determine this uh, threshold, we use the cooking table uh, method. And uh, so the, the, those uh, cooking table threshold uh, minimize the mean square error of the estimator of the total of the mean surprise variable. So it was great uh, before uh, 2016. Um, but uh, no, uh, there is a problem because we, we are no longer in a stratified simple random sampling because of the weight share method. So the aim of the study is to, to see if the Cauchy-Hedel uh, threshold uh, uh, still works good with um, a weight share method and uh, what adaptation we, we could uh, do. So there are four methods uh, to combine uh, weight share method and um, and the winterization that we have tried on uh, the first uh, ESAN data uh, corresponding to the the changement I was speaking uh, in uh, the beginning of my presentation. Uh, the first method, uh, scenario one, uh, winterization is performed first uh, with the drone sample, and then we do the weight share sharing. Uh, so it's, uh, it's just, it seems it seems to be correct um, in theory, uh, but uh, a problem that could happen if uh, if uh, some uh, enterprises whose influence will be amplified by weight sharing and non-response correction, uh, those enterprises may not be detected with this scenario. Uh, the scenario two, in the scenario two, the weight sharing is uh, performed first, and then the winterization is, is performed as if the sample after weight sharing was obtained by a stratified simple random sampling. So uh, this this is um, a very easy to implement because uh, we don't have to modify uh, the computer uh, programs. Uh, but uh, the calculation condition for the coefficient belt threshold are not verified. Um, so not sure that it works well. Um, and on, on another side, uh, this scenario takes into account the impact of weight sharing and non-response correction in the influence units. So 
we have to try that. And the last uh, two scenarios, um, so three and four, uh, the wind solarization is performed uh, in the sample drone, but not directly on the variable turnover. Uh, we use um, transform variable, so it's the variable Z in uh, the Pierre Lavallee book, indirect sampling, if you're familiar with that. Uh, the idea of this variable is to uh, express uh, the total in the final population, so in the enterprise, as a total of the variable uh, Z in the initial population. So we can use uh, the properties of the sampling design of the initial, um, initial sample. And this is what we what we want because uh, in the initial sample it's it's a stratified uh, simple random sampling, so we can use uh, winterization without risk. But uh, we did not know if it will work well because uh, uh, we guess that uh, winterize the variable Z uh, not the same that uh, winterize the variable Y. So we've tried that and we've tried another scenario with, uh, with basically the, the same than uh, the scenario three, but it takes into account uh, the, the response probability of the enterprise. So to evaluate uh, th these four scenarios, uh, a simulation study has been conducted on the ESAN data 2016, and it's based on um, 50,000 iteration. So an iteration consists in a four-step treatment, uh, draw a sample, uh, winterize this sample, sharing the weight and simulate um, the response behavior and uh, the correction of the normal response by uh, reweighting. So de depending on the scenarios, the steps occur in different order, but it's leads to the to a, a final estimation. Uh, to compare this scenario, we use this uh, indicator, which is just um, a ratio between the root mean square error of uh, the scenario we are studying and the root mean square error of a basic scenario without winterization. So to evaluate uh, the, the, each scenario, we, we compute this indicator uh, for each activity. Uh, so it's a nice three position for fiscal turnover. And our first result, uh, the number of winterized units is between uh, uh, 400 and 600 for the scenario four, and between uh, 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 64 and uh, 245 uh, for the other scenario. So the, before 2016, the number of winterized win units uh, would be between uh, 100 and 300. So uh, the, we are not in, in, we are more in the same um, order with uh, the scenario one to three. So here is a, is a result, which is, as you can see, uh, a nice result because you have uh, the referent value of one here. Uh, so if we are above one, that means that the wind solarization, uh, the estimator with wind solarization is worse than the uh, estimator without wind solarization. So as you can see, that might never happen. And the best scenario for this uh, kind of activity uh, seems to be the scenario four, which is uh, logical because it takes into account uh, non-response and is correct uh, uh, in theory. Uh, I don't present the result, but we have tried this on a more aggregated level. And then the scenario four uh, does not perform the best uh, and uh, it, it performed the, the worst uh, actually. 
so the interpretation of that is that there is too much biases introduced by winterization uh, for aggregated level because the winterization is applied at at the next three position so in conclusion i would say that uh, each scenario improves the accuracy of the estimator but not none of them seems consistently better than the others depends on the activity uh, you are studying and uh, the final choice we made uh, with uh, the production team is the scenario two because it's easier to implement and it performs uh, quite well so here are some uh, bibliography uh, you, you could uh, study if uh, you are interested in uh, my presentation and please uh, feel free to ask me some questions and contact me uh, if you want uh, more details thank you for your attention <laughs>